Do I think Medivh is gonna come back? Um, like, honestly, as much as I like Medivh as a character, I don't want Medivh to come back. And the reason for that is that he had a good he had a good story, start to finish. What can they do with bringing him back but only f*** it up, right? Look at what happened to Arthas when they brought him back. I don't want them to treat Arthas like Medivh. Of, uh, like Medivh to Arthas. Uh, but when it comes to the, the story behind Medivh, as far as I'm aware, um, Medivh was killed by his friends. Enemy Lothar, Ketgar, right? The whole corruption. Uh, Corona, I believe she's still there. And then brought back by his mother, who stored up magic, resurrected him, and the events of Warcraft 3 played out, where he goes around the world being the prophet, no longer the guardian, but like the prophet, warning people. Well, he was the guardian, I think. Um, and then with his role completed, at the end of Warcraft 3, he ushers like those, those beautiful lines of, uh, I take my, my place amongst the legends of the past. And the music goes to a crescendo, the world is saved, it's great. Guardian role fulfilled. Story arc done. Um... I like that. I really like that. Now, unfortunately, what they then did in the original storytelling, uh, what they then did was they came up with Medan in the comics. And Medan is the child of Medivh. Somewhere along the way, he and Corona got it on. They um, they got Medan. And um, yeah, Medan could do everything. Medan had like guardian powers. He had elemental powers. He had void powers. Medan, whatever he touched, he could do. And he went through a whole storyline in which he got like the, the, the staff of the Guardian, he took on Cthulhu, he took on Jogal, um, the, the meeting at Fedamor. There were a lot of moments connected to the Medan storyline. Um, but Medan himself never made it into the game and was purely to the comics and he kind of just sucked, in my opinion. Um, then the Chronicles came out and they decided, you know what, we're just going to write Medan out of the story. But they never explained what happened to his mother. Like, his mother sacrificed herself in the original story to cleanse the staff for Medan. But now that Medan is gone, what the heck happened to Aquin? When did she die? Did she die during the bombing of Edamor? Did she die earlier? Like, what? They never explained. In the case of Mediv, um, we know that, Kat, that the Tower of Karazhan is wibbly-wobbly timey-wimey. We know this from the past. We know this from books like The Last Guardian, in which a boy Kat, uh, Katgar, um, he talks to, like, a spirit of Mediv that's in there. Uh, we know that time is a bit wonky in the tower, and we know that there's echoes of the past. Then we go into Legion, where all of a sudden, the spirit of Medivh shows up in the revamped Karazhan dungeon. He joins us at the end, and then he floats off into, like, the great dark beyond, it looks like. And then the question becomes, what the heck happened to him? What? Was this just a copy of the tower, a spirit that was connected there? Or was this some way, somehow, a Medivh that came back and is now fighting off in the Great Dark Beyond against the demonic armies? We don't know. Um, and then we learn that someone like Refion has been spending time in the Tower of Karazhan as well, talking to Medivh. But was again, was this a spirit of the tower? Was this the real Medivh? What the heck's happening here? And I would like them to clarify this. I would like them to make like, you know what? Yeah, there's no Medivh. Or, you know what? Yeah, there's Medivh. Or, insert a reason here. Medana potential. Um, yeah, like I said, it's gonna come down to, to taste though, Ren. Like for me, the biggest crime that Medan has done is it's not even so much being able to do whatever he wants to do and be good at it. Like it's not even that everything just came to him. For me, the biggest crime that Medan has done is nullify the beautiful story of Medivh. The point of the Medivh storyline at the end was teaching the world that it no longer needed guardians. That the guardian role over the millennia has been fulfilled with the corruption of Aegwyn, with Medivh being able to overcome his corruption, be able to fix the mistakes that he made. And he was like, you know what? The world has grown. We don't need a guardian anymore. The world can stand up on its own two feet now. Or at least it should deserve a chance to try. And is that what they did? It was like, lol, 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 lol. Nah, that's not true, though. Nah, actually, he has a child. And actually, that child is now the new guardian. Lol, 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 lol. And like, ah, okay. That's why I'm quite happy that they never officially made Katgar the guardian. I'm quite happy that there is no guardian. 